But I'm gonna need those keys right now. My wiener is hard, my wiener is hard, my wiener. Hello, welcome back to the NFS Snyder Fan Channel, the greatest racing game channel to ever exist. Today we're gonna be talking about Need for Speed Heat. It was revealed this morning at 6 a.m. for me, and of course I overslept my fucking alarm. So this morning we got a teaser trailer as well as some pre-gamescom information about Need for Speed Heat. Ooh. So I'm just gonna get the cars out of the way real fast from what we saw from the trailer. So yeah, starting off with the cars, we saw the Volvo Polestar, which was plastered literally all over the trailer. And for me anyway, it's a really interesting car to see as like a, a reveal car, and it was everywhere in the trailer, so you couldn't miss it. It probably had more screen time than any other car. There is the Mitsubishi Evo 10, the Lamborghini Countach, the Ferrari 488 GTB, the Mercedes C63 AMG, the Porsche Carrera GTS, the SRT Viper GTS, the Skyline R34, the Nissan, S the not Skyline, the GTR R35 is not a Skyline, Richard. We had the Lamborghini Diablo, the Mazda RX-7, the Mustang GT, BMW M2, Corvette C7, BMW M3 E46, the BMW M3 E92, the Infiniti Q60, Mark 1 Volkswagen Golf, BMW M3 E30, Nissan 180SX, Acura RSX, Nissan 350Z, and then lastly, we had the Porsche uh, 993. Those are all of the cars from the trailer that I could spot with my own two eyes. And my eyes aren't fantastic. I, I, th I think I got every car though. And yeah, that was it as far as the cars and trailer. However, there was a quite a big focus on cops, which is going to be the theme of the game. Hence, Need for Speed Heat. If you're going to be screwing around with cops, you're going to be screwing around with heat. So yeah, Need for Speed Heat is going to be split up into two modes, one being day mode and then the other being night mode. I know people are probably going to complain about um, how they're split up and how it's not dynamic day and night, but the thing is, the way to look at it is if you have a day mode and a night mode, uh, the graphic restrictions won't be too harsh just because it's not dynamic. Therefore, I think everything in the game should look pretty good because if you look at a game like Need for Speed Payback, for example, since it was dynamic day and night, Sometimes when you took pictures the game looked absolutely awful. So yeah in the day mode you have the speed hunter showdown Which is kind of like a, a legal set of events and then at night you're gonna be doing underground uh, Street races, which I thought was pretty cool. I asked for that like three years ago in a drive cast um, The the podcast that me and my friends do you should check it out But yeah, we asked for pro street style events during the day and then at night you go out and be an illegal street racer. I think I even talked about it in my Need for Speed 2017 wishlist. So there's a lot of difference between day and night. Obviously I said the legal and illegal events as well as obviously this one has sun, this one has the moon. The other difference between day and night is also it gives the cops a different personality between the two modes. During the day they're kind of a neutral entity but at night they're just gonna be they're just gonna abuse you. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go after you at all costs. During the day, it's kind of like um, hitting a zombie pigment in Minecraft and then they start attacking you. That's that's what I'm guessing how the cops are gonna be the, during the day, but at night, they'll be like uh, f a creeper. Yeah, gotta be up to date with the Minecraft memes. The other thing was there was gonna be another level of customization. In Payback, I thought there was a ton of customization, but apparently Ghost Games took it another step forward as far as the customization, which is nuts. I, I, I can't wait to see the customization if they do claim that it's gonna be another step up. The other thing as far as the customization is the speed carts think Think baby Jesus. The speed cards are gone and um, they got replaced with performance parts. Um, I'm assuming like the ones that we saw in Need for Speed 2015. And these customization parts will be earned via in-game events. So if you see a race that will have a new part, you could do the race. And then uh, I'm guessing if you win the race, you'll get the part. And there's also, interestingly enough, uh, character customization, which um, I think is definitely interesting just because I don't think we've ever seen that in a Need for Speed game since like, Need for Speed World, and even then that was with like the profile pictures. So this and World's character customization was way different because that was just profile pictures. I'm guessing in this game you could actually like change the outfit of your character and I hope to God that there's Fortnite dances. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm not looking forward to as far as the character customization is having emotes. I, I, I hope to God there's no cringy ones. And then Ghost also said that they want to show off their new handling model. They did say this before with Payback with their uh, new handling model. So I mean, since they have said it before, um, I'm a little cautious about that. However, um, if it actually is something that they completely just took away and then just rehauled, 
then that would be interesting to see. We don't know until um, we, we see Gamescom in five days. We also got teased the garage in the trailer, as well as a couple of story parts, uh, the main one being the first <laughs> the, for the first 20 seconds. I guess talking about the story, it would be kind of interesting to mention a character in the story that we already know of, which is um, Mr. Lieutenant Mercer. He was the guy that screamed right, right now! now at the beginning, um, at, at the 21st second of the trailer, which is, by the way, the whole fucking comment section of Need for Speed Heat's trailer is just people screaming right now. And a couple of other small things is we see new plates. So with Need for Speed 2015, that was set in Ventura Bay. And I guess in Need for Speed Heat, it'd be important to mention that it's going to be set in Palm City, which is just a fictional uh, Miami much how, how uh, Need for Speed 2015 was a fictional LA. So it doesn't have to be a one-to-one -one exact ratio, but they will have characteristics inspired primarily by uh, Miami. But yeah, we saw a Palm City plate as well as just a straight up Florida plate, like how we saw the California ones in, in uh, 2015. So yeah, that's pretty much all we know for right now. So like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna repeat myself real fast. We have the Speedhunter Showdown events during the day, which showcase off-road events, drifting events, and road races. And then at night, it's going to be underground street racing slash cop focused because you're just going to be screwing around with cops, like I said before, hence Need for Speed Heat. And although I do seem very excited, which I am, I, I, can't, I can't hide that. However, I am still a little cautious until we see everything at Gamescom, which by the way, is in five days. So yeah, that's, that's all I know right now. It's just cop focused. Uh, underground street racing focused at night and then during the day it's gonna be speed hunter showdown focused which I think is really cool it just kind of mashes in um, need for speed pro street with need for speed most wanted and underground 2 I, I think it's sick but yeah before rambling on too long I think that's enough to talk about as far as need for speed heat uh, if you guys did enjoy uh, leave a like and then I ho I hope I, I will see you guys during this week if not um, I'll upload another video uh, talking about Need for Speed Heat from Gamescom. But yeah, I'll catch you later, boys.